Hey guys, my name is Jasmine McCray. I'm a realtor here in Charlotte, North Carolina with the Noir Group. We I have my good friend, Kina Geringer, to talk with us about some loan products that her company has to offer. Hi everybody, as Jasmine mentioned, my name is Kina Geringer. I work with a company called U Mortgage and we are mortgage brokers, guys. So what that means for you is we have more options and more competitive advantages for you as a consumer, a home buyer. Um, on the broker side, we, we work with multiple lenders, not just one, not just one box lender options. Uh, I have about 20 different lenders that I can shop between on your behalf. So depending on what programs that fits your needs the best, I can look at different lenders that specialize in those programs because not every lender is created equally, right? They're all different. They all have different pricing. So I'd be able to to search the best options for you based on what your needs are. Sounds good. All right, so I work a lot with uh, self-employed individuals, um, just individuals who are relocating. What are the best, what is the best option for someone who is self-employed? Yeah, so a lot of my self-employed borrowers, they take advantage of what's called a bank statement loan. It literally is based on bank statements from your business account, um, showing your assets, your deposits that are coming in and allowing an underwriter, an underwriter to qualify you based on those assets opposed to your tax return. So it's great for some of those self-employed um, borrowers that are newly self-employed, right? Their business is newly established. They've only been in business for a couple of years. Um, and it's also a great option for those clients that may be 1099 as well. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. And, and a lot of people, they don't know the difference between the different loans that are available. So could you yeah. just tell us what the different type of traditional loans are? Yeah, and some of the traditional loan products that we have, of course, conventional. It's really great, the options that we have for our conventional um, clients because we can actually go as low as a 620 on the conventional loan, which isn't a heard of thing in the industry. So we have our conventional loans and then we also have FHA. Um, with our FHA loans, we can go as low as a 580 credit score or sometimes we can even do a manual underwrite and see what other qualifying factors that we have uh, with our client to get them to get approved for the FHA loan super flexible. And then we have your USDA and your VA. The nice thing about the VA options with many of our lenders that we work with, there is no minimum qualifying score for oh. VA. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> heard it here first, guys. If you are interested in purchasing a home, if you are self-employed, do not count yourself out. That's Tina right. Is the girl to talk to. If you're going one of the traditional routes, Kina is still the girl to talk to. <laughs> That's right. It is true. <laughs> and another thing I'd like to add, Jasmine, for a lot of clients that are thinking about buying a home, please speak with the lender first. Before you get discouraged, let us do our jobs and find the way to get you qualified because with my team we're never going to tell you no we may just tell you not right now here's some things we need to work on to get you there but we're going to make sure that we get you there we have the platform to do it absolutely that sounds great um thank you so much kina for jumping You're on so welcome talking to everyone for us and just being informative and educational um on the lender side okay yeah, that's certainly important. And you guys, Jasmine is awesome. Call your girl if you're looking to buy a home. <laughs> 2023, we're coming for you. Yes. So I'll have all contact details below for Kina and myself. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to helping you out in the Carolinas. That's right, guys. See you soon. <laughs>